Hi guys. Doing the evening vlog like I said I would. Well, I've been a bit of a busy chappy. I've uh, sorted out that layout and I've got plans for that. So expect this corner to drastically change and look a lot tidier when it's done. Because I'm going to purpose build some low tables about the height of this coffee table. And it's going to go around in an L shape. And uh, I'll put my street on that. But uh, I don't think I can do that before Christmas because I haven't got anything to use as a top. Um, but I do need to take some measurements. Uh, <laughs> and apart from that, and just pottering about, sorting a few things out, I just stuck a pizza in the oven. It's a crappy pizza, I won't be buying any more of that, well, not that style anyway. Magic light. This is what I've been mostly doing. I've got the lighting set up, the two fluorescent lights. You can individually um, switch them. Now the reason the switch is behind them is so this cable can be tucked up like that, otherwise it would be plugged right in the middle at the front and it would get in the way. So, um, I have to put it that way around. It's actually quite warm. Um, I've put some of the tools out. I've got the multimeter there. It's gotten a bit dark now. Let's put these back on. And, uh, pot screwdrivers, the spare leads. I, st I thought the Stanley knife might come in handy as well. I've got one, two, three. There's actually four. Four things of solder down there. There's this spool and three tubes, and I've got the soldering iron there, I've got the adapter up there, so I thought I could just plug, there's no point putting a socket in down there, I might as well just have that up there, just plug the soldering iron in when I need it, and plug the um, power supply in when I need it, when I've made it, I've just got to tuck, I suppose I could just tape it to the wall or something, out of the way. Two, two, two tool kits down there. Sort of stuck that one up there as a bit of decoration. The old analog multimeter. So uh, yeah, oh, and I've stuck the um, box of light blubs up there as well. Um, I've got a couple of other cases I can stack up there actually. So uh, yeah, I've started. See. This is what I want to do. It's going to be my very small hobby electronics corner. And it's just where I'm going to build random kits and perhaps experiment myself on, on breadboards and things. That's the um, idea anyway. I've still got to move the VHS tapes. Still got to sort that out. Still got to stuff that under the bed. Put that computer back on the wardrobe. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have a change around with the PCs there. The H... I think it's an HP. No, it's an Advent. I'll then take that out and put the Windows 2000 PC down there. So, uh, yeah, I've got the fan back together. Uh, I'm being attacked by a moth. Piss off. <laughs> Stupid moth. I'll turn these off now. I don't they use much current, but I'll turn them off. Every little helps, as Tesco says. Yeah, I've got some, um... Batteries. Charge. Got one pair left, so the um I did test the other pair of this type of energizer batteries, and they were dead, completely dead. No current in them whatsoever. There's more life in I don't know, more life in any other thing than there was that. Most of the time. 
charge those. There we go. I'll be ready for the morning. Yeah. Because I really don't like this end of the flat, and I've actually just realised where the hell am I going to put my Christmas tree this year? <laughs> um, I could put it on that actually, but then where am I going to put the bloody stool? Um, well, we've got months yet. I'll cross that bridge later. <laughs> um, oh, actually, I don't know what I could do just for Christmas. That's all right. Panic over. I've no idea how long this pizza takes, I'm just going to have to keep checking it. And it's a thin and crispy base, so I'm not a lover of those, but I'm hungry. <laughs> I've put some extra slices of cheese on top, because one, I had some in there that needed using up, and two, there's fuck all cheese on it to begin with, that's all it is, it's a cheesy pizza, with um, a tomato sauce base. So, I'll chuck the rest in the bin. Uh, I was looking for something, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Me experimenting one day to see if I could make one of these fit a bike, but it didn't work. And to be honest, I don't know why I keep that one, because I've butchered it anyway. Must go to the bin. Mm. Got some legly bits here. Technic bits, they can go in the Technic box. Yeah. I'm using one of those um, Chinese dinner tubs for the hexagon keys. It fits in there nicely on top of everything, so... And hexagon keys is one of the things I'm always after. Just a couple of wrenches up there, and I can go in there. Oh, oops. There we go. I did eventually find the um, brush to clean out the fan with. It's actually in the toolbox. Uh, I don't remember putting it in the toolbox, but that's where it was. Uh, when I put the tables up this corner, I have to find a home for the um, floor lamp. I don't know where that could go. That could go between the um, computer desks. Or even up this corner, actually, if I clear all that crap out. Yeah, that's not a problem moving that. Christmas tree won't be a problem when the time comes. Uh, yeah. Um, i have got to pin those cables up like that to the wall out of the way. Otherwise they're going to get in the way of the desk. Uh, Maybe I should find like a double spotlight to put up there, because I think, I think when I do the L shape I'm going to need another one, otherwise I'll have a dark spot up this corner. Um, yeah, if I can find a twin, I'll just change that to a twin. It can be that sort of style or something smaller on, not first. Preferably a twin on a bar like that. I might actually have a look on eBay and see if I can find one. There's a car boot season is coming Dear me, I think I just shit myself. <laughs> yeah, car boot season is coming to an end soon, so I'm sure I could find something up. I don't really want to put two single spotlights up there. Something's running in an extra cable, but if I just screw a double up, it'd be okay, because you can get doubles like those ones up there. That's all I want, you know. I want anything modern and fancy. It's 
what I could have put up there actually if I could have found them. Uh, I'll have a look on eBay. We've really got a bunch of electronic stuff on eBay. I'm watching. Um, I'll probably be watching till the new year actually because I can't see myself being able to buy anything anytime soon. Um, I would like to when I get paid next week, but um, I've uh, already promised cash. And I forgot a pair of batteries. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I've already promised the cash elsewhere. Um, to my guy on Facebook that supplies me the um, Lego. But, uh, yeah, it's got a couple of sets for me. I've been on camera 11 minutes now, so I don't think the pizza will be done just yet. Uh, I need to get my laptop back up this corner. That would be handy. Well, I haven't read this. I was going to chuck this one in the bin, but I haven't read it yet. So that no goes in bin. Not yet. I still haven't played any of them video games I bought the other day. Nope. I'm slow. <laughs> yeah, at least this table looks tidy. But I'm, I just keep looking at that core and I just see an untidy mess. So... Oh dear. I'm a bit trumpy tonight, aren't I? Yes, yeah, so these stacks of drawers you see, they'd go underneath the new desk. That's why I want to um, build a complete one because it will actually look even as well instead of trying to match one onto this. I might just get rid of this. But I'll just need some tops unless. I could see if my stepdad's got any left, and um, if I build the frame, because I've got enough wood downstairs, um, there's only going to be a low frame like this one. And I've got plenty of wood to make the legs, so I don't know about the um, rest of the framework. I've got, to, I've got to dig it out of the corner. But... Uh, I don't really need two big bits, so if you could machine off a couple of sheets for me. I don't need it covered or anything like that, and I don't think I'd bother um, painting the legs or anything. The only reason we painted these legs white is because they were already white, and they looked a bit faded and dirty and whatnot, so we just spruced them up. But... Uh, I'll go for the au naturel look. But, uh, all we did was butt joints on this one, so that's all I'll do when I do the table here. I'll probably do it in two separate tables, actually. might be the easiest option. And then I'll just butt together up the corner. But, um, I wasn't going to do it before Christmas, but I think I will. Because I do believe I can. I can actually build it up here. I've got all the screws up here. I can bring a handsaw up here because it's not very thick wood. It doesn't have to be um, thick, strong wood because it's not going to be supporting a huge amount of weight. In theory. <laughs> um, so I can do that. And, uh, yeah... Well, I know Stepdad does actually have some sheets of ply left, but I don't know if he needs it. So, uh, next time I go over, I'll ask. But maybe tomorrow I could bring the wood up, and perhaps start on the framework. So I'm sure I could find something eventually for a top. But, 
um, I would love a large city like a lot of AFOLs build in their own basements and whatnot, or in their spare rooms, but, well, you've seen how big my little flat is, so, a, um, extended street in that corner I think I can live with, because I can always change buildings around, because, um, the building placements there isn't going to be permanent, so I could just put all houses on this one, move the, um, well I'll keep these at the front here, but move the restaurant around there, and then they have that as shops and whatnot, because uh, this set I'm talking about Lego on the main channel. Uh, yeah, this one I can build up into a proper shop. A proper shop, I mean back wall, so it's not just open like that. <laughs> Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to talk about Lego anymore. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Let's see if the pizza's done. Are we done? We're getting there. No, oh, it might take a bit longer because I turned the temperature down. Dipstick. When I had did dinner earlier. Ah, yes. That also reminds me. Oh, that smells nice. But um, they were cheap, and I guess the reason they were cheap is because they didn't have a lot of topping on them. Just run that till the tap's hot. Um, I've got someone picking up the bike tomorrow lunchtime. Um, I said in the other video, that is confirmed. And um, the guy that collects my scrap and gets me computers and bikes and whatnot. He's going to come and get the scrap tomorrow. Because even though scrap prices um, for steel and steel and um, iron are non-existent, or at least last I knew they were non-existent, he's um, stockpiling it. Which um, I expect a lot of scrap dealers are doing. Just uh, building up a pile of scrap. I know the um, banger races at the yard over at Mum's are. I've got a huge pile of scrap down there. Trust me, when they take their banger cars down to the scrapyard, they're going to need several cars to fill that lot with. Because that's all they'll do. They'll, when they take in their car, the um, cars they're done with, they've raced and smashed up and whatnot, they'll um, just fill it full of um, scrap from the pile and take the whole lot down. But, uh, as I said, there's just... There's no value at the moment in steel and iron. Absolutely fucking bleed and all. <laughs> I've been told... Well, not been told. I've been asked why I don't bother, you know, towing my bike trailer in down there, because I do stack it pretty high with scrap, but... Their minimum payout is £60, which means I would need several of those trailers... <laughs> To get enough weight to, um, it, well, in steel, you know, just your standard ferrous metals, um, to actually make it worthwhile. Because um, he will keep it on record for you if you haven't got enough when you go in. Um, that's only because they have to pay by check. I know the rules are stupid, but it's all to combat theft and whatnot. Um, on the other hand, if I could... Um, if I had the room, I could fill that with something like, I don't know, covered cable or something, or aluminium, and I could, um, it would probably take a couple of trips, but I do want higher sides on that, so I could fill it a bit more, and then I might consider it, because to be honest, my, um, scrapyard is only just down the road from me, so, and it's all downhill there. <laughs> So it wouldn't be hard to tow a heavy trailer down there, it just roll down the hill. And just make sure my brakes work. <laughs> There's a crossroads down there and I don't want some twat pulling out in front of me while I'm rolling down there. Oh, I can't stop. I'm daft, not stupid. Uh, well then again, I think about it, is it really worth it? Because there's still a lot of effort for very little reward, really. But then again, so are most things, really. Most jobs are like that. 
you put a lot of effort in, you work your ass off, and you don't get much of a bloody wage at the end of it. Ooh, it smells like it's cooking nicely now. Eh? Mm, maybe I should have put a couple of extra slices of cheese on it before I threw the rest in the bin. Because the top slice would start to go funny, but... Well, it had white bits on it that looked like white fingerprints. Oddly, but I didn't want to trust it, so I took the first two slices off, because the rest underneath the fog. And it's a resealable packet, so the packet's been sealed in the fridge. Yeah, I just didn't trust the top slices. But the other slices were still good, so I suppose I could have just thrown them on and had a really big cheesy pizza. It was actually his Edam, I think. I'll have to get another try of that, because it's actually quite nice. It's nice than a ham sandwich. <clears throat> uh, my little brother's been asking me about um, HDMI and DVI adapters, because um, he wants to get a computer monitor to use to play his... Um, PlayStation's on. But obviously, computer monitors, I don't know if, I don't think that a, an actual computer monitor has HDMI on it. But they have DVI and you can get adapters, but he wanted to know um, if that'll badly affect the quality, the high def quality. I'm not sure. I think it might a little bit, but I'm not an expert on things like that. You know, I just plug cables in, and if they work, they work. And I know where to plug the cables in, and I know what they do. Now, actually, speaking of that, when I was at my job centre appointment the other day, um, I was just nosing at the back of his um, computer monitor while he went off to get a couple of bits of paper from somewhere. Well, that was it. He went to get the um, form for me to fill in. And I noticed not only did he have a VGA cable connected, he had a DVI cable as well. And I couldn't work out why you'd want both connected. You know, it's only in an office. It's only used as an office computer. You don't really need... Bloody cat, get out of the way. You don't need top-notch video quality, do you? I don't know, I just couldn't figure it out. Especially two outputs like, or two inputs like that, DVI and um, VGA. Never mind, I've got DVI on this one. That's all, that's all the outputs are on the video card, so I do actually have DVI. I don't know if that would actually work with HD, or if that's different to HD, I don't know, I don't know. I'll just watch the friggin' tellies. So long as I can see a picture clear enough, I'm not really fussed what it is. <laughs> I can't see why people got to have the latest technology, because I just see a picture. That's just me. Maybe, maybe there's something there that I can't see. Yeah, maybe I'm just I'm not seeing something. I mean, the um, LCD TV I used to have before I sold it, um, just because I didn't really use it, that didn't have HDMI or anything like that. It didn't have built-in free view. It just was just a bog standard LCD cheapo TV. Just getting... I don't know why I washed the fork up. I don't need a fork. I'm not. I've got the plate washed up there. Mm -hmm. Bit longer, I think. I was time. 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mind you, most of that was cooked at a far lower temperature than it should have been, so I'll give it about another five minutes. Um, but he wants a monitor for his um, PlayStation, because apparently the, um, something to do with the screen resol resolution or the screen refresh rate is better, so there's less button lag. 
something like that he said. I'm not a console gamer, so you know the only consoles I've got are these antiques down here. <laughs> you make a drive from PS1 and the PS2. And they just sit there collecting dust most of the time. Only because I never think to actually put them on. Because I'm usually doing other things anyway. And by other things I mean I'm usually sitting on that or playing with that or doing something. Playing with a bike. Mind you, I keep moaning I get bored sitting on the PC, so maybe I should just get off the PC and put a console on every now and again. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just sort of threw the screwdriver in the pot, went over there, stood there, and was like, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Right. <sighs> yeah, if I feel up to it, I'm going to get that wood out tomorrow and start constructing a frame. Um, about that width up the corner is fine because I don't want to go too far towards the sofa because I do want, you know, a bit of room so I can just slide up here because uh, I do need to get to the windows so I do need to clean that off because that's really starting to piss me off that bird shit's still on me but I do like to get to the windows to open them well actually yeah I'll be able to lean over and uh, the other thing if I have two separate tables I can um it's easier for me to leave a gap along the radiator, A, because I don't want things too close to the radiator, and B, so I can close the curtains, which I only really do when um, I've got my light display up, because uh, you can't see it very clearly otherwise, because of the lounge light. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off. And uh, go get my pizza, eat my pizza. Remember where I put my glass out of the way of the cat? Because it's starting to smell nice. And uh, I don't know, I was thinking of going for a little wander later because I've got to go down and lock the bike up. Bike, bleh, bikes up anyway. I could go on a bike ride actually. Have I lock the bikes up or just the bike? I can't remember. Do I put Claude back in the sh- oh, I can't remember. Do I even take Claude? No, I'm going to have to go down, I think, when I've eaten. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you liked the video. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. For more daily videos. More random daily videos, I should say. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon.